So continuing with, we know multiplication equals repeated addition. Okay, things to keep in mind. So we're going to start with the same equation that we used from last time. So 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. is the same as 5 times 3 over 4 or 3 over 4 times 5. Okay? And this is because we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sets of 3 fourths. So one way in which we can represent this is by using a number line. Okay? I'm going to divide this number line just into four segments here. And now I'm going to divide each one of my segments into fourths. And the reason why I'm doing so is because the denominator here of my fraction. Now, each of my segments of my number line are into four parts. Okay, mind you, they're not equal, but I'm not the world's best drawer. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to count out three out of my four segments. And that is now my first section. Secondly, or now I'm going to add my second one, so I'm going to go one, two, three, and that's my second segment. Another three. There's my third repetition. Here's my fourth repetition. And I need one more repetition for my fifth repetition. Now I can look here and I've got one, two, three holes. And I'm left with one, two, three out of the total four in that unit. So now I know that three-fourths multiplied by five is equivalent to three and three quarters. Hope you enjoyed. We're going to look at the area model next.